When I think of Normandy, I immediately think of the D-Day landing beaches and the area where Operation Overlord took place. We also have an Operation Overlord tour with Bayeux as its central point, and we found out in that tour that Normandy has way more to offer than just World War II memorials. And in this tour, we're exploring the inland part of Normandy with Rouen as its central point. Rouen is the capital of Normandy and it's been a commercial thriving city because of its location at the River Seine giving direct access to the sea. The city was heavily bombed during World War II but on the north bank many sites have been preserved making Rouen almost well, in its entirety an open air museum. Rouen is also the city of 100 bell towers. You will find churches everywhere. The Cathedral of Our Lady was the one that inspired the French painter Claude Monet for his impressive series of the west facade of this cathedral. Claude Monet is one of my favorite painters and therefore our inspiration for this tour and therefore we have named this tour Monestrian. Claude Monet was born in Paris on November 14, 1840 and the term Impressionism comes from the title of one of his paintings, Impression Soleil Levant, which was exhibited in 1874. He moved to Giverny in 1883, and you can now visit his house and gardens there. And this being Monet's trail tour, we will bring you there in right one. It was Monet's ambition to document the French countryside, which led to a method of making the same painting on different times to show the changing of the light and the seasons. His series about the haystacks and the water lilies are very famous, but also the one of the cathedral in Rouen. He made more than 30 paintings in 1892 and 93 here in Rouen of this west facade of the cathedral, apparently renting a temporary studio just across the street. He reworked them in 1894 and in 95 he selected what he considered to be the 20 best paintings from the series for display at his Paris as dealer and sold eight of them before the exhibition was over. The building itself is one of Rouen's main sites. It took more than 300 years to build it and is now often referred to as a lacework in stone. The pointed tower at the back apparently is the highest church tower in France at 151 meters, 495 feet. And we can visit, so let's see. Rouen is a very pleasant city where you will find mainly medieval buildings. And these half-timbered houses are a very good example of that. The structure is mainly made of oak wood, which came from the forests surrounding Rouen. And although we are here on Monestrail, in Rouen, you will find a lot of places with memories of a probably even more famous person, Jeanne d'Arc, or Joan of Arc. Here in the Rue de Saint-Romain, you can find the Historial Jeanne d'Arc 
where you can get to know and everything about this young French illiterate peasant girl who got to be a heroine in the 15th century. Here in the former Archbishop's Palace where the trial took place condemning her to death by fire. Although this place has nothing to do with Monet or Jeanne d'Arc, we did not want you to miss this. This is Être Maclou, which is a unique courtyard with half-timbered houses dating back from the 16th century. But already in the 14th century, this place was used as a cemetery because there was no place left for the many dead during the plague epidemic. Almost three quarters of the inhabitants of Rouen died of the plague. And therefore, the frames above the doors and the facades radiate death with skulls, bones and material of grave diggers. Like I said, Rouen has over 100 towers, so a lot of churches. And it's really a nice little walk through the old city centre to this church Saint-Ouen. It is bigger than the cathedral and they were building it from the 13th till the 16th century and it really stands out because of its pointed towers. Also just outside the pedestrianated area of Rouen you will find the last remaining tower of Philippe Auguste's castle. It now holds an escape room but it is said to be the tower where Jeanne d'Arc was imprisoned awaiting her trial. This Place de Vieux Marché still fires the imagination. After her conviction, Jeanne was burnt at the stake here, at this very point on May 30th, 1431. In 1979, this Jeanne d'Arc church was built in the middle of the marketplace. And if you look closely, the shape resembles this flame structure. And today, the Plus is one of the liveliest places in the city with a lot of bars, restaurants and nice terraces. We have lunch, we have a salad with camembert. And you? Bon appétit. <laughs> bon appétit. The Rue de l'Horloge is not only known to modern tourists because of the Gros Horloge, the big clock. This has been a very popular street since the Middle Ages. And this gilded gold clock has been rehung from the Belfry Tower a bit lower so the inhabitants of Rouen could see it better. And if you take this Rue de l'Horloge from the Place de Vieux Marché, walking under the Gros Horloge, you will get to the cathedral again. If you like this video, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel and watch the separate video on the hotels we want to recommend. And then we are sure that with all this information you will find the perfect accommodation for your stay here in Rouen and enjoy your stay in Rouen, but also the rides that we have planned for you in Monestrel Tour.